The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the first book of Kings. Ahab called all Israel together and assembled the prophets on Mount Carmel. Elijah stepped out in front of all the people. How long, he said, do you mean to hobble first on one leg and then on the other? If Yahweh is God, follow him. If Baal, follow him. But the people had nothing to say. Elijah then said to them, I, I alone, am left as a prophet of Yahweh, while the prophets of Baal are 450. Let two bulls be given us. Let them choose one for themselves, dismember it, but not set fire to it. I, in my turn, shall prepare the other bull, but not set fire to it. You must call on the name of your God, and I shall call on the name of Yahweh. The God who answers with fire is God indeed. The people all answered, agreed. Elijah then said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one bull and begin, for there are more of you. Call on the name of your God, but light no fire. They took the bull and prepared it, and from morning to midday, they called on the name of Baal. O oh, Baal, answer us, they cried. But there was no voice, no answer, as they performed their hobbling dance round the altar which they had made. Midday came, and Elijah mocked them. Call louder, he said, for he is a god. He is preoccupied, or he is busy, or he has gone on a journey. Perhaps he is asleep and needs to be woken up. So they shouted louder and gashed themselves, as their custom was, with swords and spears until the blood flowed down them. Midday passed, and they ranted on until the time when the offering is presented. But there was no voice, no answer, no sign of attention. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come over to me. And all the people came over to him. He repaired Yahweh's altar, which had been torn down. Elijah then took twelve stones, corresponding to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of Yahweh had come. Israel is to be your name. And he built an altar in the name of Yahweh. Round the altar he dug a trench of a size to hold two measures of seed. He then arranged the wood, dismembered the bull, and laid it on the wood. Then he said, Fill four jars with water and pour it on the burnt offering and on the wood. They did this. He said, do it a second time. They did it a second time. He said, do it a third time. They did it a third time. The water flowed round the altar until even the trench itself was full of water. At the time when the offering is presented, Elijah the prophet stepped forward. Yahweh, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, he said, let them know today that you are the God in Israel and that I am your servant and I have done all these things at your command. Answer me, Yahweh, answer me, so that this people may know that you, Yahweh, are God and are winning back their hearts. Then Yahweh's fire fell and consumed the burnt offering in the wood and licked up the water in the trench. When all the people saw this, they fell on their faces. Yahweh is God, they cried. Yahweh is God. And our response is taken from Psalm 16. Protect me, O God, and you is my refuge. To Yahweh I say, you are my Lord. My happiness is in none. People flock to their teeming idols. Never shall I pour libations to them. Never take their names on my lips. My birthright, my cup is Yahweh. You, Lord, you alone hold my lot secure. I keep Yahweh before me always. For with him at my right hand, nothing can shake me. You will teach me the path of life, unbounded joy in your presence. At your right hand, delight forever and a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I've come not to abolish, 
but to complete them. In truth, I tell you, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke is to disappear from the law until all its purpose is achieved. Therefore, anyone who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the person who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord.